so if you actually look at uh, human intelligence i think uh, now let's look at uh, a few of the derivatives of what this means for us as leaders right so that we need to understand when it comes to what are humans capable of and what are what is artificial intelligence capable of what are their unique strengths uh, for us to leverage as leaders so first and foremost uh, both uh, kinds of intelligence both human and artificial intelligence is all about uh, matching or recognizing patterns uh, human brain is a pattern matching machine uh, it is said that uh, um, the way uh, human brain works is uh, uh, based on the context that we are in it creates an image of what it expects to see uh, then the data that comes from what we actually see and sense from all our senses gets matched to that uh, pattern and the only thing that we then uh, recognize or give our attention to is anything that does not match that specific pattern so which stands out so human intelligence is all about uh, uh, experience based on your experience past experience you have a um, clearly defined pattern that uh, you expect uh, of the world and when it doesn't it pops up as a uh, as something that we need to give attention towards and it is also all about connections right so connections based on our past experience uh, whereas uh, when it comes to artificial intelligence uh, the entire thing is about uh, content and the connections between those content so for example i mean all, all artificial intelligence is trained on data which is nothing but content uh and uh, depending upon the content on which it is trained it can then recognize patterns and identify connections that were either to unknown for us as human beings uh, and the ability to do so in a large data set is what differentiates uh, artificial intelligence versus uh, humans so anything that uh, uh, is in the real world that we want to kind of you know uh, pay attention to uh, human intelligence is better anything in within the data that we need to identify connections uh, to uh, i think ai is way better so from an awareness point of view i think uh, humans are more context aware as i said i mean we are aware of the context that we are in irrespective of which context it is even if you put a human in a completely new context which is you know let's say for example you travel to a new city which where you've never been to or a part of the city where you live but you've never been to you can still be aware of what is expected to be in that context so your brain uh, is able to create a model uh, irrespective of whether or not you've had past experience of living in that particular or being in that particular context uh, and therefore um, uh, humans are a lot more context aware whereas uh, ai is a lot more data aware I mean, given right so because they are primarily trained on data they are a lot more data aware um, a lot of times uh, the challenge with artificial intelligence is also that you know if you are not able to identify the context in which the data is has been created or generated uh, that could lead to potential biases and that is where if you are able to bring in uh, the context awareness of humans and the data awareness of ai together you get a, a more complete picture of the scenario uh, or the or um, of the scene that uh, um, uh, you are um, you are faced with and then based on which you can then decide and take whatever actions that you need to take as leaders now um, coming to uh, insights so human insights can come from creative leaps from imagination from completely uh something that we have never experienced uh, we can imagine that and therefore our uh, uh we can make creative leaps um, do we do that often enough do we do that uh, regularly not necessarily but it is a possibility Uh, the more we do this uh, the more we learn to take creative leaps the better we get it whereas uh, all insights uh, coming from 
uh, artificial intelligence is uh, based on connections that it finds in data, statistically significant connections that it finds in data. Uh, again, um, it may be pretty simple and straightforward that uh, everything with respect to AI is about data, but uh, the reason why I'm bringing out this distinction and it, why it is important for us to learn and be conscious of these differences between uh, what humans are capable of and what uh, AI is capable of uh, in certain contexts, because that's how we learn and that's how we keep things in mind, right? So that's why I'm reiterating the data part. Uh, both uh, humans and artificial intelligence are uh, biased simply because of the fact that uh, AI algorithms are also in the end written by uh, humans to start with. Uh, of course, they can continue to write and improve themselves, but uh, the initial seed uh, is from humans. So uh, whatever bias uh, was there uh, within humans who wrote uh, the initial algorithm could potentially be, could potentially remain uh, hidden deep within the algorithm uh, itself. Uh, whereas uh, human bias uh, is hidden in plain sight. A lot of times we can actually uh, see and tell whether a particular person is biased towards uh, something or someone or um, not, right? So it's hidden uh, within the person, but also is in plain sight for others to uh, see and notice uh, if we were to uh, want to notice, right? So that's the key there. So bias exists irrespective of where you go. Uh, as long as we, we are able to notice the bias and take that in, into account, uh, we are good. So um, humans are driven by uh, a purpose, right? Uh, why do I need to do this? Why should I do this? Why should I not do this? What happens if uh, I don't do this? Uh, these are all questions which are important for humans to be answered. That's also the reason why there is this entire movement of purpose-led organizations and purpose-led leadership uh, all around us. Because ultimately, uh, humans are motivated and driven by purpose and what matters to them as individuals. Whereas uh, uh, AI is uh, driven by whatever uh, the uh, creator of that particular AI uh, was motivated for. So usually what this means is that uh, uh, a lot of times uh, the artificial intelligence is very uh, specific to a very specific task or to a very specific functionality. So for example, if there is a, a enterprise application, let's say a sales, uh, a CRM, and uh, there is a uh, artificial intelligence embedded within the CRM application, um, uh, and it is primarily for forecasting based on past sales data, based on weather data, based on uh, market conditions, uh, the algorithm can probably predict what uh, the sales uh, uh, could potentially be. So that's the only purpose that it has, which means it's a singular purpose. Same with ChatGPT, it's a very singular purpose. You give a prompt, it'll answer. You want to have a conversation, it'll have a, if for every question, it'll give a textual answer. Same thing with, a, uh, uh, you know, image processing or image creating generative AI, it will only create image based on the prompt that you give. So it's singular in purpose, uh, whereas uh, humans can be multi-purpose, which means that you know, they, as individuals, we have multiple different purposes that uh, could potentially drive us uh, and motivate us. Um, in personal life, in professional life, uh, we can be multi-purpose. Uh, under conditions of uncertainty, humans are really good uh, because of the simple fact that uh, we are context aware and because of everything else that we spoke about uh, before, uh, human intelligence is really, really great under conditions of uncertainty. Whereas artificial intelligence is really, really great under conditions of certainty. What do I mean by conditions of certainty? Is that uh, uh, there is no ambiguity in terms of the questions that are being asked. So the more ambiguous the question, the more ambiguous the answer and the less uh, uh, useful uh, the answer, if I may say so. As long as we know exactly what we want, um, exactly what uh, we ask for, um, AI or machines or algorithms are really good at answering those questions. Whereas um, 
uh, humans are really good at uh, uh, answering questions that are very very vague in nature or uh, or when you put them in conditions of uncertainty uh, so in terms of cognitive load i think uh, the more data we give to ai the more the better it functions as long as the data is relevant and uh, is used to train uh, the uh, ai algorithm whereas uh, humans uh, can't uh, function well when put under significant cognitive overload uh, what the what this means is that uh, uh, if you have to crunch a lot of information if you have a lot to process um, uh, humans are not as good as processing uh, a lot so if you uh, if you follow the literature um, it is very uh, well known fact that uh, humans can't multitask uh, neither can machines but uh, uh, the switching cost uh, that humans have is there is machines have is vastly different so um, humans the switching cost is really high there is only a limited amount of data that we can store in memory and process whereas um, algorithms uh, can store a massive amount of data in memory and process them and at the same time uh, can do parallel processing across processes uh, coming together uh, we have not uh, learned how to do that in mass uh, with other humans yet hopefully that's something that we will uh, learn as we go along in this journey where uh, more and more artificial intelligence is going to be fused within our lives now next is uh, uh, machines or algorithms uh, are always on which means that they are always available uh, whereas humans need rest so at most what you can look at is 4 uh, hours of extremely productive time uh, in 24 hours is considered to be really good if you can push it up to 6 hours you are like uh, one of the highest performers that uh, you will have in your circles and if you can do that to 8 hours of productive uh, time then man you are already in the top 1 percentile of people uh, in the world and even then you still need rest right so um, unless you rest um, you are uh, the body uh, the, the toxins and the uh, chemicals that the body creates when you are at peak performance needs to be flushed out and that is one of the reasons why you need rest um whereas machines do not need that at least not yet uh last but not the least uh, i think uh, it's easier and cheaper to train uh, humans uh, it's more difficult and more expensive to train uh, uh, ai because the data needs to be clean um, the data needs to be um, Uh, in a particular format or in a particular uh, uh, the data sets need to be really really huge uh, uh, computing power needs to be really huge so training um, an ai specifically for each one of our purposes probably will be too difficult to do and too expensive to do as well whereas humans are comparatively a lot more cheaper and easier to train them uh both uh, ai and uh, humans are judgmental in their uh, own ways uh, uh, humans are judgmental uh, in unique ways uh, the same person may be judgmental about a particular thing uh, in a given context whereas in a different context may not necessarily be whereas uh, uh, ai or algorithm is judgmental in the same way irrespective of which context you put it into understanding this is super important for us as leaders uh, 